Good morning, everyone. My name is Michael Arguelles, and uh, I'm a life group leader at the Norwalk Bible Study, uh, which is part of Charisma's District 2. Uh, I will be praying for first responders and law enforcement today. Uh, I wanted to start by saying an enormous thank you to all the doctors and nurses, to the ambulance drivers, the EMTs, uh, the firemen and the police officers, and uh, all the other first responders. Uh, you are doing a great work and you've dedicated your lives to putting, often putting those lives at risk to heal us and to serve and protect us and to uh, just keep things somewhat sane in this crazy time. You're doing God's work. How do I know this? Because it says in Psalms 34, 17, and 18, the Lord hears his people when they call to him for help. He rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. I believe that's what you guys are doing. The Lord is using you to rescue people from their troubles. And I'm grateful, we are grateful for your service. I'm reminded of 9-11 uh, and how heroic the firefighters and policemen were back then. All the medical workers, but even they didn't have to be heroes for approaching a year now, you know. And I know that that can be very discouraging. But, as it says in Galatians 6, 9, So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. It also says in Deuteronomy 31, 6, So be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and do not panic before them. For the Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. God is fighting the battle with you and is, in fact, leading the charge. So don't lose hope. Don't grow weary. Keep fighting the good fight. And thank you again for what you, all you first responders do. We, we really appreciate it. Uh, and for all of us who are not first responders, Let's do everything that we can to make their job easier. Let's, let's do this, you know. Let's, uh, uh, let's not cause any more trouble than is already there. Let's, and let's do what we're going to do now, and let's pray for them, because they need the Lord just as we do. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you so much for all the all the first responders all the people that have taken it upon their shoulders to help us through the pandemic lord there's so much trouble in the world and a lot of people are hurting and these people have have chosen to do your work to help people get better to rescue people from their troubles Give them strength and courage. Give them, give them clear minds. Give them uh, patient, patience and endurance so that they can work through all the difficulties of this time. And we know that the time is coming soon when the pandemic will be over. And Lord, help these people to get us there. We know that you're leading them and you're leading us. Help us, Lord, and help them. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, and God bless you, and good morning.